yawn. Hey everyone. Alright. And now it's time. And night time has come. And now it's night time. Time for Alex at night. It's me. Ew. We didn't reset the comments from last time. Darn it. It's always embarrassing when we have old comments up. Oh well, it's too late now. We'll have to have the comments from the previous episode up. Yikes. I guess at least that makes it look like something is already happening on this episode. But for full disclosure, those are old. I think that whole the count of the number of people here is old too. So I just don't want anyone to feel cheated or to feel like they're being bamboozled. Now it says zero. Cool. Feels better. I mean, it doesn't feel better that there's zero people here. Just that it reflects the actual amount of people who are watching right now. Alright. Well. We actually had some good conversation during our 9 o'clock show tonight, so who knows how this one will go. Maybe it will go super awesome, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Glad you could pop in. This is Alex at Night. That's not the official name of this show. That's the name of this episode. The name of the show is It's Me, I'm Alex. But it's nighttime, at least in my neck of the woods. But uh, feel free to say hello or walk back out, walk back out the door that you walked into. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Your comfort is of the utmost importance to us. Oh, hey Shanna Bran. Thanks for all them destructoid bits. Robot bits. Yay. And Clay. Oh, Clay. I mean, I'm just as excited to, to see you, Shanna Bran. It's just that Clay hasn't been here for like several episodes, and I was starting to wonder if maybe Clay decided not to, to watch the show anymore. 
I know I'm sounding dramatic, but I'm kind of halfway, halfway joking, I guess, you know, but all right, cool. That's so funny that you asked me what's poppin' Shanna Bren, cause like a completely different person asked that exact same question. What? Thanks. It's your birthday, Clay? Wow. Holy crap. Happy birthday. Oh man, that's that's really cool. Hold on a second. And I'm I'm sorry about your AC tech rig. Give me thirty seconds, I'll be right back. All right, well, are you guys going to sing with me? No. Oh, come on. It's Clay's birthday. No, I can't do it. I only sing for your birthday, Alex. Oh, well, you guys, Sally, are you going to sing? Ill. Ah, all right. Well... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday um, to uh, you. Happy birthday, uh, dear Clay. Uh, uh, Happy birthday to you. All right. Blow on the screen really hard and let me know when you've blown on the screen. I have to know because... Did you blow on the screen? I need confirmation. Did you do it? Dang it. I have to know. Alright. There you go. I hope you made a wish because I forgot to remind you to do that. Yay. Happy birthday, Clay. All right, I'll I'll be right back again. I, I'd keep the birthday theme up, but I I'll be right back. Well, I hope that was. Uh, I hope you made a wish, and we already, we had to remove the cake and hats and stuff for like, uh, you're very welcome. There's like a law against, uh, something, but, oh, no problem. I was happy to do it. I wish that, that my puppet pals would have joined me that time, but. They can be lamos sometimes. Well, that's cool that you joined in on your birthday day. I'm I'm the one who feels honored. He will. At least he tried. When he sung "Happy Birthday" to me previously he uh it took him a lot of practice so I think he's already forgotten the words huh yeah 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 maybe or maybe he'll just uh it does take him a lot of effort so we'll see that was cool that we could 
bust out the hat and cake for you. I'm sorry, I missed things when we were celebrating birthday. Let me go down. Shannon Brand was asking about more, see more comedy minute time, and he's working on it. He's working on his next bit. You know, comedy is hard. So, you know, he's got his little yellow notepad and. He's working real hard on his on his bits or whatever. I told you that I would be back at eleven thirty. And you missed you missed the cake. There was cake and you missed it. I said I was gonna have supper because I didn't eat my supper earlier and I would be back. Uh, my day is going pretty good. I had a couple of turkey sandwiches for dinner. It's mustard and cheese. Are you oh, are you curious what my parents say? Are you talking? Are you talking about me? Must I repeat myself about my parents? Double P. Yeah, okay. Yeah, both of my parents are dead. So, I'm basically like the Batman of live animated cartoon talk shows. So watch your step, bud. No, I said both, not most of my parents. My dad and my mom are both former parents. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, my mom died first. So, for, for a time in my life, it was most of my parents. But then my... My dad died actually um, back in April, so there's that. Oh, I was just too afraid to talk about it, I guess. And the canon of this show is, uh, I don't know, I mean that is canon. I've stuck with that for like several episodes now, because it's the truth. Sorry to talk about dead parents on your uh, your birthday, Clay. I know that's a bummer, but I thought I would ask answer the question. Oh, because I was trying to keep the show light, you know. It's a light show. We talk about dog balls and stuff like that. But the question of my parents comes up from time to time and well I guess I gotta answer that question when the time arises I'm fine I've already shed all of my tears I don't have any more tears to shed for them so that's all good Oh, thanks Clay I am happy for my internet family. Besides my puppet pals and my good old neighbor, Miss Ruth, there's not much, uh, not a whole lot of family going on. It's kind of why I'm here, if you want to get into the psychosis of it all or whatever. Jim does spread malicious rumors. Oh, I'm glad you think I'm a great pal, Tekrik. I think all of you are great pals to have on the internet as well. 
but here in the dimension in which I live, it, it does get, uh, I don't want to say lonely. I don't get lonely, but I don't socialize a whole lot. Not because I stink or I'm like bad at socializing, it's just, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like if I, if I have an internet show where I'm just like myself, right? You know, cause like the people in your life, you know, you can make good friends and all in real life, but you're kind of limited to like the people in your general vicinity. But if you start an internet show and you're just yourself, and sometimes, you know, if, if your internet show starts to take off a little bit or people start watching, the only people who stick around are the people who really like you or uh, want to fuck your puppet pals or whatever, but, you know, that's, that's different, but... Oh yeah, three whole days. Hey Anna, Kala. I'll just call you Anna, if that's okay. I know you. Are, you, are we going to commit to the Church of Scientology? No. But you can commit to the Church of Alex. I mean, sometimes, uh... Oh, I see. Sometimes Leonard plays the part of my nemesis. You're damn right. But sometimes we get along. It's kind of unclear. But it gets kind of tiring fighting with Leonard all the time. But I don't have any enemies in my dimension right now that I know of. But maybe we'll um maybe I'll go outside and make some enemies sometimes. sometime like it would like help introduce like an element of drama to the show because gee whiz that's what this show needs is uh some fucking drama man the puppets are stick what are the puppets What happened to the puppets? But, you know, I don't know if I have to make enemies on the show. I feel like if I keep doing this show long enough, I'll make some enemies in your dimension. Not on purpose, but, you know. Certainly there's going to be people who hate me. It's gonna, that'll be fine. I actually can't wait to have my first hatred. You know? Like I felt, you know, like I've got people like you guys who like, like me. And stuff. But... You know, there are people who hate all who who hate all sorts of stuff that is like, you know, crazy for them to hate. They hate Mr. Rogers or they hate like you know, chocolate or Michael from Vsauce. That that like opened my eyes. Like I I tried showing somebody Vsauce something like about three or four years ago. I was like, check this out. 
and they were like, God, I hate that guy. I'm like, Michael? I'm like, yeah, I can't stand him. I'm like, really? But yeah, there are people who don't like Mr. Rogers. There's an old Fox News clip going around on the internet that, where the fine folks at Fox and Friends were talking shit about how he told kids that they were special when not every child is special. Yeah. So. But there's a new Mr. Rogers movie out now, so, like, he's back in the news. I want to see that movie, but I don't go to movie theaters. So I'm going to have to wait. But I am definitely a fan of the Raj. That's what, like, people who are fans of him call him. They don't, but I, I'm trying to start that. No. I don't go to theaters because I just can't stand to be around. I kind of have social anxiety, I guess. And I just, I don't know. I figure once it, once my money comes in and I can get a VR set, a VR headset, then I can watch any movie I want on a giant ass screen. My money. My, my boat full of money that I'm going to get. Like, duh. What money? Yikes. I know what you mean. I'm not too big on venturing outside of my comfort zone. Even on the internet, like I feel like I spend an awful amount of an awful lot amount of time and an awful amount of time on the internet, but there's so much stuff even on the internet I don't know about. Memes I haven't seen. Which is, as someone who, you know, is not too into the, the memes world, I, uh, Oh, smiling cat. I guess I shouldn't ask what you were doing, huh? Oh, things happened. Ha ha. Well, you could have brought her along. Lots and lots and lots of people watch It's Me, I'm Alex with their significant others. 
right? Crosswords. Oh man, I wish I could make quote fingers. Hey producer, give me the ability to like put up quote fingers. I think that would really add to my uh, my thing. Frantic shagging. What did y'all watch? I bet it was a sexy movie. Did you tell her about me? Does she know about me? I need to know if I was involved in any way. God damn it. Oh, there's Shanna Bren. Oh, that's cool. Smiling cat, did you tell your girlfriend about me? Motherfucker. You're keeping me a secret. You're embarrassed. You're embarrassed of me. How could you? That's right. Yeah. It wouldn't be the Kim, huh? Aww. Yay. She watched one episode. Well, that's scary. Because, like, you know, I made a lot of episodes, and maybe, like, ten of them are, like, solid as an episode. Like a whole episode of, uh, you know, solidness. Well, I hope she doesn't. I hope Kim doesn't watch this episode and see all the. all the people talking about you shagging her. I'm pretty sure anybody who tunes into this show for the first time is like, what the fuck? Well, they always are. But then they like, look at the chat room. If you scroll up in the chat, you'll see lots of people implying that you guys were having to sex wars. As they say. But yeah, people tune into this show and they're like, what the fuck is this show? And then they look at the chat and it's like mostly people talking about sexy things. So. You're not the first person whose exact first words are, what the fuck is this? And they always say WTF is this. Sometimes it's just a, a WTF. Sometimes it's like, what, a, what did I just walk into? And then they just, they leave as if like, 
I feel like most people see this show like that scene on The Shining where the dude is like giving a blowjob to the furry bear guy. Like that's what they act like when they tune into this show for the first time. It's kind of weird. Um, sorry. I, uh, didn't mean to, uh, upset your delicate sensibilities. Smiling cat. Even though I'm pretty sure you posted a comic in the Discord earlier that was implying like a a sore butthole. I assume that's what the, the comic was implying. That someone had a swollen butthole. Please correct me if I misinterpreted that. Oh. You see, I thought I was implying that they were doing like... But yeah, there's a Discord now, Clay. There's a link to it. There's the invite link or whatever that you copy and paste into the, the hole on Discord down there in the twitchy things. Awesome. Oh, you're a subscriber too, so you'll get access to the official um, exclusive subscriber thing. The ex subscriber channel. So, I mean, it's kind of like the regular channel right now, but I'm hoping that all the subscribers will come together and make it super elite an Alex army everyone with on the internet's always forming a squad and an army and Gosh, it's like a whole lot of responsibility on my part. And I'm still kind of scared, you know. Like I build a community and what if my, like right now my community is awesome. But like what if I get like a Rick and Morty community? That would be like something I wouldn't want to put my name on. Ooh, Puppet Platoon. That one hasn't been thrown around. But Smiling Cat, I'm, gl I'm glad y'all watched Pulp Fiction. That is a, a good little flick. That is a good movie. Up 
that Lenny sour sauce. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'll agree that I think that I liked season two better than season three. I'll have to. Oh, I know what y'all can do. Y'all can go to like gas stations and request D and L. What's D and L you say? Hold on. I'll pull it up. Oh yeah, DNL. No, it's nothing to do with that. DNL was a an offshoot of Seven Up, but it's really Seven Up upside down, and it was Seven Up with more caffeine, and it looked like radioactive. It was discontinued in two thousand five, so. But it was uh, it was seven up, but like a brighter green and uh, some more caffeine in it. I don't know. They did discontinue it, and it was uh, real popular around here. Oh shit! This stuff. This stuff. I had this stuff before. And it tasted like, like if you took like Robitussin and like mixed it up with like some like dirt that someone had peed on, then you would get this stuff. Yeah. Puppet Lenny. Haha. -ha. Green. So, if you guys need a discontinued item to rally behind to make my show look idiotic and to make everybody hate all of my fans, then you can get behind DNL. DNL. It used to be a thing. I can see it already. It's already a thing. Yep, let's just go ahead and make it the official drink of the show. Heck, I'll talk to the art department and see if they can't cook up a bottle to put on the table. I think it's, uh, I think it's time to mix things up on the desk now. So, we're gonna add a bottle of DNL. Oh no, that shit was sweet as fuck. Like... Ooh, I could do that. Yep. And y'all can go to like the 7-Up offices and like, act like a bunch of little bitches about it. Like, we want DNL, yeah. Oh, that's super cool. And you're you're very welcome and I hope you had a good night. And uh I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Tell tell the wife I said hello and uh y'all have a good night. But yeah. 
Oh, it's your grandma's birthday? I did already. We busted out the cake and the birthday hats for Clay, but... Grandma never watches the show, so... Aw, oh, thank you, Clay. Yeah, smiling cat. Your grandma never watches the show, so she she doesn't get the old birthday cake and hat. Good night. Sleep tight. Oh, Shannon, burn the show is popping, isn't it? Wow. It's kind of crazy. I honestly never thought that the show would do better between 11.30 and 12.30, but I guess it's still earlier than that in other time zones. So, there's that. I think I always pick 9 o'clock as my nighttime show, and it's kind of slow around that time. But 11.30 it gets popping. Ooh, I see that DNL can in that Discord. Awesome. It's a thing. Why is, why is your body sore, smiling cat? Or should I be asking? Uh-oh. Alright. Oh, dang it. I was going to add some BRB music. I feel like people would abuse that, so... I don't think we are going to know. I feel like Smiling Cat number one made it very clear that that was none of our beeswax, so... And what with Smiling Cat being under the age of 18, I feel like speculating about that might cross a line into being added to some sort of list. So. You thought it was about the furries? Like you thought they were watching Pulp Fiction and doing some furry stuff? Or are we talking about The Shining again? Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. All right. I guess we'll just, uh, I did check out Discord and I saw that you posted that can of DNL. And, um, warming petricide. Wow. It's the rare double show petricide. Um, appearance. Super cool. Hi, oh, yeah, Petra. Petra side. Oh. Do you need me to sing a lullaby?
No. No. Well, since you missed it, I'll just uh, briefly tell you what happened. Nothing happened. I'm just saying uh, I was talking about my uh, my little community here. It was very nice. My modest but very awesome community and how cool they are. And then I made a comment about how it would suck that if I ever had a community that was like toxic like the Rick and Morty community. And then I said, well, I guess I could endorse a, a product that is no longer being made. And I talked about a product that I actually do enjoy that is no longer made called DNL. DNL is a soda that used to be made by 7-Up. It was upside down 7-Up and it was basically 7-Up with a brighter green color and more caffeine in it. It's 7-Up upside down but DNL and so that's going to be the Sasashawan sauce or whatever the fuck it is of It's Me, I'm Alex. So go to your local gas station and act like an asshole about it so that um, my show takes the world by storm. Oh hey, I got another achievement. I've streamed, as of this episode, for 250 hours total. 250 hours I've done this show now. Wow. 250 divided by 24. Wow, I've spent ten and a half days of my life just doing this show. Wow. Amazing. Like, that's ten whole days. Like, that's like... Wow. And it was all worth it. It is a big spaghetti. Well, 24 times 10, yes. Plus a half a day. Well, 0.4 of a day, which is basically half. You know, days are very precious to me, so. But I've seen the hit television show Full House from start to finish at least 10 times. And it actually takes uh, three days three entire 24 hour periods to watch the whole series so I spent more time watching Full House than I have doing this show so I still have a lot of work to do that I do
well. Well, what's next on the agenda, my babies? Ah, oh, sorry. I promise I won't ever call you my babies again. Unless you want to be my babies. I feel like it's kind of weird. Yeah. That's true. Uh, well, since you sent the bits, I guess I'll uh, I'll not call you my babies anymore. I'm sorry. It was a miscalculation on my part, and it won't happen again. I do need a. I feel like I do need a word to a. To address you all as, like, it's a mixture of ladies and dudes, so I can't be like, what's up, my dudes? But I don't want to, like, take ownership of you guys. You're all individuals. Don't save my friends, but... I bet some of some of you wouldn't yet consider me your friend. I'll figure it out. My pretties. Does anyone have any questions? The floor is yours. Well, I don't know the uh, the details of your life, but. You know, we become the people of, that we are because of the experiences that we've had. You know, we have good experiences, we have bad experiences, and sometimes people treat us nicely, and we look at that and we're like, wow. Maybe I can be a nicer person. Or sometimes people treat us poorly. And we're like, why do all the people suck so terribly? And sometimes when people treat us poorly, it becomes real difficult to, to not want to treat people poorly as well. Because you're like, well, if they're not putting in the effort to be a good person, why should I? And plus, I'm hurt so badly that I don't feel like being a good person. I'm not saying that the way you are is that of not a good person. I might be projecting a little bit, but... You know, sometimes we just have to to look deep within ourselves and be like, am I a good person or am I an asshole? And you know, sometimes if you're an asshole, 
that's just who you are or who you want to be. And if that's who, you know, if you want to be an asshole, that's fine. It's not a good way to keep friends, but, you know. As uh, the great philosopher Popeye said, blow me down. Why can't dogs live forever? I don't know. It's um, it's sad. I've lost a few pets in my life, and you know we talk about why we are the way we are. I'm afraid to get pets of my own now. I have a couple of roommates who are dogs and uh, I have not lost any pets due to gross negligence presidential puppetry I love animals but I sure do hate to lose a good friend Hi, Smiling Cat One. I say your full name because that's kind of like what I do. People have asked me before, why do you say my full username? And it's easy. And I'm going to answer that question right now. The reason that I often say the people in the chat room's full username is because when I see it if I had to parse it every single time and look within my brain to see which nickname I've come up with for you it would make things slower so sometimes I'll remember to call you double P presidential puppetry but also, I said your full name because you accused me of perhaps killing my own animals by not taking care of them. No, you haven't gotten to me. I mean, I know that that's not, I know that you've tried. You know, you are slightly more aggressive most of the people who watch the show but you're not the most aggressive person who's been in my chat room oh sorry to hear that cat I didn't say you were like super aggressive just more aggressive than most but I feel like you you are trying to like pick at me to like figure out what what makes me tick and you can't quite put your finger on it you want to figure me out but you can't Oh, that's horrible, Smiling Cat. I'm sorry. Oh, it really is a personality test. To be honest. I was kind of thinking it might actually be Goatsy or something disguised as a personality test. I was completely prepared to see Goatsy. Alright. Fine. I'll, t I'll take it like in front of you guys all right 
you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people? I would say that's like closer to disagree. Yeah, no. I take surveys for a living, so. Oh, oh yeah. For those of you who like to spot the changes on the It's Me, I'm Alex show, this screen has a change that was made just today. Can you spot it? You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Hey, thanks, Shanna Bren. Do I get so lost in my thoughts? I don't forget my surroundings. It's not the boarded. Okay, yeah, the border changes on the uh, the thing, but it's not the border. The border is uh, changed regularly, but there was another change that was made to this page. But I am very aware of my surroundings. Like, that's a strong disagree for me. Uh-oh. What is the rainbow thing doing? Ding, 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 ding. You get it, smiling cat. You win the prize. Yay. Oh yeah, I, I, I totally am on top of my emails. My, my email, everything is archived immediately. You find it easy to stay relaxed, even when there is some pressure. Uh, I'm pretty neurotic sometimes, and but no, I freak out. I haven't exactly freak freaked out on the show too badly, but I haven't had any crises. I haven't had any crises on the show, but no, when there's like real pressure and shit goes down, no, I get fucked up. You do not usually initiate conversations. Nope. If there's something to talk about, I'm on top of that shit. Right on top. I've, I've, I've had a few mini meltdowns, I think, but I kept them sort of playful enough that they were kind of, uh, you know playful but I think I'm gonna refrain from from uh, losing my shit on the show Hold on, I gotta click on this thing real quick on this other page You rarely do something out of sheer curiosity. Uh, I'm not the kind of person who will flip a light switch that says do not flip. I won't take a pill that I don't know what it is. I'll say that I won't just do something well, uh, just to do it. Like. I'm, I'm kind of a scaredy cat. Oh no, no way. Do not feel superior to other people. I'm organized, but I'm, uh, I'm messily organized. Uh, I'm highly motivated, but I'm not energetic winning a debate matters less than you wait winning a debate matters less to you than making sure that no one gets upset 
I would say that I don't want anyone to get upset, so I'd prefer that everyone just chill the fuck out and we'll get back to the argument, but everybody relax. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Oh yeah. Guys. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Uh, like, okay, they're not quite tidy, but like, it's just clutter, like paper clutter. Like, there's no like dishes or foodstuffs. So, it's not a full disagree. Some people would say that I'm not exactly tidy, but it's a clean sort of untidiness, I said. Oh, this is kind of long, huh? You do not mind being at the center of attention. I guess being here on a internet talk show, uh, the rainbow box is where announcements appear if someone follows or donates money more than a dollar. It'll pop up in there. Here, I'll show you. Or maybe someone can donate a dollar. See? There we go. Yep. I consider myself more practical than creative. Wow, President. Wow, Double P. That, that sounds bad. Alright. I get it. How long is this test? I feel like I've taken these tests before and they just say I'm an INFJ or whatever. But no, I, I, I would consider myself a creative type. People can rarely upset you. Uh, at me. Okay, you guys can read. So like, I'm just gonna click on things. So. you that I'm taking this very seriously. My guarantee.
Um, I do have a s- Whoa. Yay, thanks Petricide. Petricide says, I'm a blankety blank and I promise I want 44 Kai to blank me like the blank I is. Oh. That's right, because the donation thing can make it let you change the name. Well, dang. It was 44 Kai's trademark buck 44. So. Blankety blank. But yes, I do have a Swagbucks account, but. I do most of my living making off of Amazon Mechanical Turk and I take a buttload of surveys like every single day so if you're looking for uh, internet money taking surveys and shit Amazon Mechanical Turk is where it's at It's an online marketplace where people can post jobs and you can do them. Mechanical Turk. Uh, Mechanical Turk doesn't have a sign-up code. I mean, it really is more like a... Yep, that's it. Like, it's it's different from Swagbucks. And the, it's more like... Oh, then you should definitely look into Mechanical Turk. It's like, it's not one of those places where you get referrals and stuff like that, but... Anyone can sign up. I've been doing it for a few years now because there are different levels you can get if you do a good job so oh well some days I make like ten dollars but you can if you try really hard you could make up to 50 but that's like if you work like 20 hours it's a there's a reddit for it that is helpful but That's what I hear from various grown-ups is that a lot of it is luck. Damn, Grandma. Tell your Grandma I'm calling the police. Pretty sure you literally said that you were underage like earlier. Like you actually said that when people were talking about you. So. Oh, okay. Okay.
Hmm. Me taking this personality test isn't like waking you up. Am I a natural improviser? I'm a careful planner though. I'm more of a careful planner. But I think I more see myself as a careful planner when I mostly just improvise. Yeah. That's a down the middle kind of thing. Uh, I control my emotions. I enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. Leonard, do I like role playing? Oh hell no. You're like, I've never seen you role play shit. Yeah. Like, if I went to a Comic Con or something, which I've never been to a con, my first con's gonna be Alex Con next year. But I would just go as myself. Leonard, do you like role playing? Yeah. Smiling Cat says, In the bed, what? You're looking at me with that weird smiling thing. Okay, back to the test. No. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical and yet intriguing ideas. Yes. Sometimes when I'm going to bed, I think about if my house gets broken into and um, I turn myself invisible and I can stop time and so like the bad guys are like frozen in time and then I chop off their hands with a samurai sword and then I put them in the trunk of their own car that they were gonna rob me with and I drive them to the nearby lake and then I put a magic spell on them so that they forget the past two weeks so they don't even know that they were in my neighborhood and so they wake up in their car without their hands not knowing like how they got there or anything but they shouldn't have fucked with me yeah I just wanted them to pay When the cons make the rounds next year, can we group up and go as the Puppet Pals? Um, if you like. Um. What's a dash con? Oh, it's a Tumblr thing. There's not a controversy section. Oh, I see. I see the ball pit incidents, whatever that was. Was that on here? I don't remember it, but it looks like cons go like terribly bad unless it's like Comic Con and like Brian Cranston is there or something.
Ryan Cranston's a shit. Oh, you watched Dash? You watched the Dash Can thing live, huh? The Dash Can. <laughs> that rhymes with Trash Can. I meant Dash Con. Judgment, I reckon. Yeah. I think the whole Bruni thing is a little tricky. Is this show that you're watching right now? Think about it. Hold on. Take me to the big screen real quick. What the fuck show are you watching right goddamn now? Huh? Are you watching a puppet show starring a little boy and his four puppet pals? Are you? It is. I know. I was just, I was just pulling your leg. The show is obviously not for three-year-old children, boys or girls. So, but I thought it would be funny to to talk a little shit. You know how I like to talk a little shit sometimes. Do I find it difficult to relax when I'm talking in front of many people? I'm talking to many people right now, more than I would ever talk to in real life at a time. So, but I know I'm talking to multiple people. So I think, I, I yeah, I can handle that. I could handle that too. I've talked to 400 people at once. It's been a few years, but I've addressed 400 people at one time. So. It must have been something like that. I know you want to see the results of this suspenseful test. That's the one I always get. Huh. I think that's the one I always get.
What are the other ones? That's the one I always get. So, I guess when it comes to Myers Brig, that's the one that they give me. So, that's a. Uh, the Advocate. Alright, so y'all learned, y'all learned about my shit. Congratulations. So, that's the one I always get. Now I do know that there is some controversy about whether or not the, uh, the what is that? The Myers Briggs, Briggs Meyer, Myers Briggs. There's controversy as to whether or not it's a uh, actually a thing that means anything. Some say it's just as a uh, reliable as a horoscope, but. I do get the same thing every time. I don't know what to do with that information or anything like that, but... I guess I am a thing. Oh, I missed a call. Did they leave a message? Oh, they didn't leave a message. Oh well. I guess they were scared. was a good way to, to kill some showtime. And to kind of teach everybody a little bit about myself. It says you need an invite. Well a hit is a test a task. And, uh, an invite. I've never heard of that. That's on. The hits are, um, the jobs on Amazon. But you might have to get approved or whatever. Yes, smiling cat. One trillion. What up? Sup? What it do? Oh, uh, thanks. You two are are one of the best. I I would say you're the best, but there are other people watching and. I don't want to play favorites because I like everybody equally as much. Everybody is my friend and I like them all. You guys are all my friends and that is pretty awesome. Let's all be friends. On my internet adventure. 
hope you're on an internet adventure together. We're gonna do our thing. I'm turning the show into a musical. I'm glad you guys were here for this. I usually only do songs when I'm opening the show, but I feel like sometimes singing in the middle of the show kind of might put me in the zone to do you mean like methamphetamine or like on rollerblades because Maybe both at the same time? I'm just kidding. I would never do... I would never do that. I am pretty good on a pair of blades though. I've only rollerbladed, not rollerblade, or roller skated. Wait, what's it called? Ice skate? <laughs> I've only ice plated. I sported. I've only. I've only. God damn it. I've only ice skated. No, I have not. But yeah, I've only ice skated like. twice. Maybe once in my life. But. I've rollerbladed many, not rollerbladed, roller skated at least 50 times or more. So when I when I got onto ice skates, it was I used my roller skating skills, and it was nothing. I like roller skating. I like listening to early 90s booty music and just putting on a pair of roller skates and rolling around in a circle. When I hear music, it makes me dance. That's my favorite song to rollerblade to. Roller skate. What? You thought I was you thought I was talking shit, smiling cat? No. When I hear music it makes the ringtone rap. I I'm not sure I I'm familiar with that one. Get a refund? Oh. I guess I I've, I've I've never heard of that. Have you ever heard of Crazy Calls? Which I assume is a precursor to ringtone rap? I assume that perhaps you have not. Dwayne, please. Thanks.
on. Hey, how are you? Sorry that I'm not at home. But when I get the message on my telephone, you'll be the first one on my list. Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for answering machines. I am very sorry that I'm not at home to take your call. Only 1495. When I will get right back to you. Hey, Give someone the gift of gab for their answering machine. Calling a friend. What you've actually done is bought a one-way ticket to the answering machine zone. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta Crazy Calls, a tape of seven different songs and funny recordings for only $14.95. I need to see if the whole wait for the beep song is on there. Yes, it's on there. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta seek your stuff and your number too. And this is all you've got to do. Wait for the beat. You gotta leave your name. You gotta leave your number. Wait for the beat. You gotta leave it at the beat. Yes. God. Beautiful. Some beautiful shit. Voice machine poems. Yikes. That does sound pretty cringy. You want a 20 minute song, please and thanks? Novelty anything. Like novelty Christmas albums and stuff are just, yeah, they're all pretty, um, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna post it, post it twice. No, you said sign, so I'm gonna have to do sign language. Uh, I guess I don't really have the ability to do that. But yeah, if I did sing 20 minutes, I would die. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Maybe if I sung The Decline by No Effects. That's like almost 20 minutes long. I'd probably spend like Seymour. Seymour, will you marry me? No. Shucks. I guess not. Sally, will you marry Grace? Nope. Leonard, will you marry Smiling Cat 1000? Only if they sign a prenup first. You heard it here. Miss Ruth, will you marry yourself? Look at her looking all pensive like, yeah, I'd marry myself. Aw, oh, she heard me. Now she's disgusted. A prenup is a contract that you sign with your significant other before you get married so that you don't take each other's shit when you get a divorce. That's basically it. Yeehaw! 
ho, 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 here's some things you need to know. Yee-haw, ho, 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 at a redneck Christmas party. Oh. Yee-haw, ho, 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 please oh, don't Lord. eat the yellow snow of Grandpa Joe. Yee-haw, oh. ho, 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 at a redneck Christmas party. Corolla's got fever blisters and he wants us all oh. to play Twister. Yee-haw, ho, 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 don't go near the mistletoe. Yee-haw, ho, 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 at a redneck Christmas party. Yee-haw, ho, 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 at a redneck oh, Christmas yeah. party. It's got blinding noises. Leave my two cousins in the back of your car and hound dog duke in the front seat bar. Leave while you can before the keg is through cause Bubba likes to wrestle. Yee-haw, ho, ho, ho. There's a few what things is, you'll be glad you know. What did you do? Ha, ho, 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 at your redneck Christmas party. At a redneck Christmas party. I do whack a boom boom. Watch this. Oh, good. This is an ASCAP song, so. I'll be, uh. This is gonna get. This will be the song that gets me banned on Twitch. That'll be great. Well, if my account gets banned, uh, it probably won't. They'll just mute my channel, but yikes. Yeah, and, and we just made them some more money. Hopefully I clicked through it enough that, that all the moaning and audible cringing that I was just doing doesn't get muted on the show, but I was, I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll just have to see what happens. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I was confused as to why you were apologizing for that. That sounds like a very noble thing for you to have done. Well, it looks like they claimed it on YouTube for that particular video, so, but I did click through it um, pretty quickly, so, and it's also in my head, so that's great, so that's cool, yep. I can hear it in my head. It's just, just like I'm listening to it right now. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yikes. Smiling cat, are you still awake or did it? Did you die listening to that song? Oh. Let me see if I can guess what kind of smoker you are, Shanna Brand. You smoke, I bet you smoke camels, don't you? Are you a camel smoker? That's not a euphemism. I bet you smoke camel blues. You seem like a camel blues kind of guy. 
I need to know. Unless you smoke generics. If you used to smoke camels. You, you seem like a camel sort of person. Ah. Here's an unethical life hack. Well, it's not unethical. It's just uh, bad. But if you get a one-hitter and you take your cigarettes and you break them open and you smoke them out of the one-hitter, that'll last a whole lot longer. That's what Marvin used to do before he quit smoking. And he smoked less. Yeah. My producer used to smoke cigarettes too. She quit by uh, nicotine lozenges. Oh, are those the ones that have like bloody wieners on them or whatever? Yeah. I don't know why I said bloody wieners. That would not be. Ooh, the new scrolling rainbow box is awesome now though. You see that smiling cat? I know you see it because you noticed it. Man, it really just spruces up the place. Oh yeah, I bet. Oh, I know you saw it because you pointed it out earlier. I'm just saying like, on this screen it just really brings it out. Because it's a little bit bigger on this screen than it is on the other one. So nice looking. Here in Georgia, cigarettes are still like five bucks a pack. I think you can get like the most generic of the generic cigarettes for like four. But there aren't any more smokers here on this show any longer. I'm so nice looking. What? You're too kind. But even old Seymour dropped the habit. Seymour smoked for what, like 20 years or something? Yep. You don't smoke, do you, Leonard? Oh no, that's against the rules around here. What do you mean? Are you, are you lying? No, man, I don't. I don't smoke. Oh, I think Smiling Cat is trying to make a a joke about you smoking poles or something. dollars wow that's a lot of dough oh well I guess now that marijuana is legal in some places of the United States, we can say that the people here on the show who are of legal age to smoke it endorse it. But since also you've implied that you might be underage, we definitely don't. Im so 
sorry I had a brain thing. We definitely don't endorse uh, underage people partaking. But if you're of legal age in a place where it's legal, then um, smoke those dink buds every single fucking day. back in the day. Nothing like huffing some poop. Well, I thought his room smelled like Lysol because he's always uh, tooting. Leonard's a known tutor. Always tooting all over the place. Yeah, wipe that grin off your face. But I don't. Yeah, I didn't think it was because he does any stinky drugs in there or anything. But if he did, I would I would assume it was to cover up his rank toots. Oh, well, that changes everything. I see. I think Smiling Cat wants you to agree with him. Oh, oh, oh yeah, right, Smiling Cat. All right. Um. I'm going to go ahead and give that a solid no, because I don't have any uh, VR capabilities whatsoever, like, at all. I mean, I barely have computer abilities, to be honest. So I could be in VR, but I wouldn't be able to experience it, but then everyone else could experience it. Huh. Well. I'll look into it and see. You can create worlds. Oh, I can't wait to have a VR abilities. It's like my dream. No joke. Like I, I can't wait till I have an, an Oculus or I'd even settle for like an Oculus uh, Go right now, to be honest. If I'm being honest, honestly, honestly, I, yeah. It's 
a very nice, uh, what is that thing called? It's a squid. It's a very nice squid you have there. But now as soon as I get decent, a decent to your computer and a BR thing. I'm uh, totally gonna start looking into uh, having a VR version of the show. That would be sweet. I have not played it yet because I'm still desperately trying to come up with $400 to pay rent by the 30th. I'm not having a whole lot of luck. So I'm doing my scheduled shows in this show late at night, but during the day I'm not having a whole lot of time for, for lollygagging trying to figure out how to, to make rent and trying to figure out what I'm going to do if I can't. It's pretty sad. So, no need to be sorry. I just uh, got myself in a, a real conundrum. But yeah, after I uh, pay rent, and uh, or if I pay rent, maybe the show is not interfering with my ability to make money or anything. I wouldn't be making money right now, and uh, I'm spending like all day before five making money and spending the time between my shows making money. It's just a, uh, you know, as one of the great philosophers say, said it is what it is man but I appreciate the advice about doing one show a day no I sound sarcastic but I know that you have my best interest at heart but I promise I'm not letting this show that's exactly what I do Shanna Bren and uh well it's not exactly working out at the moment but well no I think I, I know what you're saying and uh It's a little, it's kind of complicated, maybe perhaps more complicated than I can discuss on my little live animated puppet show here, but I've got some plans. I'll figure it out. I'm not going to die. No one's going to kill me or anything. I probably won't even end up homeless. So I'll probably disappoint some people and make them angry, but, and I, I'm not taking that lightly or taking advantage of anyone, it's just that 
I love these late night confessional shows. Yay. No, I'm a. Uh, it's all good. I still got four days. And just made, need to make like $100 a day. I can do it. Love you too, smiling cat. I mean, that would be dope if the show got big and it was my job. But I'm not putting all of my eggs in that basket just yet. Right now, I'm I'm the the mama chicken incubating incubating the eggs. So I'm sitting on I've got my little mama chicken butt keeping the eggs warm and uh, maybe they'll hatch into little chicken babies but not every chicken egg hatches into a chicken baby some of them hatch into delicious scrambled eggs yum I hope everything gets good too. I'm um I know I, I probably sounded hopeless and um uh, hopelessly hopeless lure but it's it's not like that. I've got backup plans and But we'll see. Every day is a another fucking day. Oh. Ooh, that does sound scary. Well. The good news is, is that there are safety nets in place in which me and the puppet pals won't ever be homeless or anything. So that's good. No, I hear ya. The puppet pals and I have seen a, an eviction notice or two, but those days are behind us now. Well, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Sad Sack Talk with Sad Sack, Alex Benjamin. Hi, I'm Alex, and I want to be your friend. Well, we're at two minutes and f wait no, we're at two hours and, and four minutes. And it's one thirty a.m. Yay! I mean, not yay. Yay! Sad lip. Well, I do have to wake up early and hit the internet coal mines to to pan for gold or whatever to pan for nickels but it was fun hanging out and stuff thank you smiling cat and Shanna Brand for hanging out with me and anyone else who might still be out there watching I think it's just us and the bots now wait I'm waiting Hold on, Shannon Brand said wait. I'm here. Sup. Hold it, Dwayne. What you need, Shannon Brand? What up? Mm. 
what it is. Okay. Okay. Did you fuck up? What did you do, Shanna Brand? Awesome. That's super cool. You saw that, Seymour. Did you see that? Yeah. Hey, that was a that was a pretty sweet donation. So how about like a little more uh a little more uh enthusiasm? You gonna do that comedy minute soon? Yep. Come on. Yes. There we go. Thanks a lot, Shanna Bren. That will go a long way to being much closer than we were. Well, good night to you guys, too. All right, Dwayne. Well, that sound means that that was pretty awesome, Shanna Bren. Thank you again. Now it's a uh, winter 3 a.m. Supposed to meet up with Cat. Alright, we all have a good night. Sleep well. And don't forget to let. Goodbye.